Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have three journals for you. Um, these and these are eco prints. Then a brass um, plate. You can put anything you want there. And they have these brass closures from Tim Holtz and um, eyelet which has a hemp string and this ceramic bead and then you close them like that and you can extend them you can put your own string there and then thread the bead through this is just on the loop like that and another eyelet here with bookmarks we've got and we've got um, ceramic beads on these and the hemp string and we've got these moths so i'm calling these journal started moths this is um, linen tea dyed linen these are some wool hand dyed wool and cheesecloth moths sewn in there and here is another one and um, print eco print that I made on watercolor paper sewn into the cover with the moth sewn on it so you can see this is what it looks like and inside right this journal is four point four centimeter spine and it's they are quite earthy with lots of different vintage papers so you've got this pop that's the closure you've got this flat pocket at the front so you can put something there all sewn around here these are some Japanese prints, Japanese art prints. I thought they are lovely, subtle colors. Um, natural history paper with a frame. Here is Ex Libris stamp that comes out. You can put photograph there or anything else you want. I just put this Ex Libris stamp so the book belongs to, and you put your name here. and this frame and my print pocket this this is a print that i made it's also to the cover a vintage map from a czech atlas of the world sewn into pocket here a vintage fruits book and vintage a recipe book love the colors I don't age the vintage pages because they're already old. This is embroidery book from Czech Republic. So the writing is Czech and I chose the nat nature sort of themes. So they are really old pages. This is 120 GSM uh, drawing paper, tea dyed, Czech paper, vintage mushroom book and yellow square paper this is vintage book about marshlands and lakes i think hand dyed thick paper another green eco print there is a pocket and this is an envelope with a stamp that i carved that's the middle and because I would like to show you all the journals, I'm going to go a little bit faster. Um, vellum, hand dyed vellum with a print mushroom pocket. Another other side of the embroidery pages. I love, of these, love all these browns and subtle yellows. Here is a vintage mushroom, a vintage moth page from a little observer box sorry um, I often talk about these books this is them 
and you get these little pages and I make them into the pockets and tags so that's what I always talk about so here is an index card tea dyed another side of the vintage check map atlas and end of first signature a print on textile made by me here second signature some grasses browns and some glassing bag hand dyed glassing bag with some cards of trees and berries sort of autumnal book autumnal colors and themes and a um, stamped card with moths stenciling vintage page natural history pages pocket another one lovely butterfly page all the book pages as usual are the original pages not copies here another vintage book page so all journals are different stamping I put uh, mushroom stamps in all the journals and so you've got the real book pages stenciling egg page Tim Holtz paper this is the uh, bookmarks here this is the signature ends with more ceramic beads book page ducks stamp cooking page this is lovely book cookbook uh, hand dyed tracing paper a lovely natural history page from the reader's digest um, British plants and animals and flowers this is a thick drawing paper so you can use some papers uh, as multimedia sort of papers because they're so thick um, envelope I made from natural history paper you see another mushroom mini page I think this book has got this is a vintage fabric that I love I don't have any more of this left I made a pocket out of it in each book I don't have any more of that no um pocket this is the Japanese print again here is um, glassing bag tea dyed you can put something in there like that I love the texture this is a check page about um, meadow and field flowers plants also old music paper another map pocket I love the vintage maps and the blues the turquoise blues now they are not the same colors anymore the new maps so the book has got 250 pages front and back and it's A5, it's 15 by 21 centimeters. And it's got, as you can see, a huge variety of papers. This is an eco print that I made and mushrooms and browns and beiges autumn theme all oh, this is so old i think this is from like 1890 book about ireland and there was some advertisements in the in the back of it and this is really old this is the originals and you can see the hotel advertisements and what's written there and how much money it was it was like two pounds per stay and uh, dinner and everything and they are so interesting look at these lovely birds 
Heated holding page. Egg page. Beautiful bird page. I'm gonna show you this. And look at a picture there. Manor Hotel. First class family hotel. Beautiful. So good to have these old things. And here is my stamp and this is the back cover and another pocket. So and then closes like so. And it's lovely, it's only 15 centimeters. So it's really nice and compact. Um, now here we have this one. This is four and a half centimeter spine, five signatures, hand dyed orange fabric, woolen moths, hemp cord, eco print made by me, uh, closure, the front. And pocket there, large pocket there. All the vintage pages you would expect, all the hand dyeing you would expect, and all the different papers and beautiful, beautiful pictures. Loads of sewing. All the signature covers are always sewn. When I make books, loads of original artwork, my print again, loads of natural history papers, the Japanese prints, stenciling, quite a few details. Here we have the uh, glassing bag. This one is orange because the book is orange. So you can put something there. Like so. Here is another orange glassing bag with some more cards. Look at these lovely moths, dead hog. Many pages again throughout the book. Birds egg and vintage um, seashore page. So I tried to do all the colors, oranges, beiges, yellows, hand um, tea dyed. Oh, this eco print is cool, different. And this is um, another cotton fabric printed by me, made into a pocket with some grasses. Bookmark, one bookmark, two. So we've got all the same book pages in, and pockets, stuff like that. Oh, here is another of these old pages, advertisement hotel pages. It was an Irish book about Ireland, but the advertisements are from everywhere including England, so Scotland and all that. Tea dyed envelope, this. Look at that picture there. Darling region hotel. Um, yellow paper. Natural history book, the other side of this signature with the textile print and uh, another eco print and Tim Holtz signature cover, vintage map book page, quite old, running out of those as well, need to make a trip soon, but not allowed to go to Czech Republic without being in a quarantine on the way back. So I don't really know when I will go back. Maybe Christmas. 
and stock up on some old books. Page. Yeah, check is not on the list. But Greece is on the list and I will be going there on Friday and I will definitely try and find some antique and old bookshops. Oh, this is a um, page from a typewriter learning book, how to type on a typewriter. You see that. So I will be searching for some old papers and maps next week. Oh, this is from Sir Walter Scott's book of poems. That's from 1890 as well. These two books had no dates in them. And that is usually means before 1900. Oh, beautiful. Look at those mosses. This is how I finished the signature there. There we have the embroidery book. Another pocket. Sir Walter Scott. Yeah, so hopefully I will have some new materials to work with and lots of inspiration. And when I come back, it will be autumn here and rain so i'm really looking forward to going away for the last of the summer and here we have a last book and this one has got six centimeter spine and seven signatures it's a chunky one look at the moths here Oh, there are kids going to school or they're on the break outside so that's the noise this is the eco print and more of the same except more of it because of seven signatures so it's a little bit more expensive because it's bigger only a little bit more there's a lot of space to write pocket, lot of vintage map page, lot of space to write in these books, lots of pockets to use for your tags and memorabilia and ephemera. Lots to read as well if you like natural history and other vintage stuff delightful steamer trips on the thames so that's thames in london beautiful okay oh this is heavily stained tracing paper which i love the sound of corner bent vintage fruit page uh, Edith Holden, these brown leaves, bramble leaves, which is raspberry, more autumnal colors uh, cards, here is the other side of the, this is Glasgow to New York, must be a ship because it's called Anchor. So, let's go to New York. Good. Eco print. This one is green and brown. This is the Japanese. You can see the Japanese influence in this. I love the colors, the pastels, green, pinks. Yeah, check a book about plants. Encyclopedia. This is the embroidery mini book with a bird, a typewriter. Oh, look at those butterflies! Beautiful mosses, pockets. 
I like to put the um, vintage pages, violets, uh, in the middle and make pockets out of them so you can see the whole page. Oh, this is um, block printed textile that I carved the blocks and printed it with some gesso on linen. So that's different again. So every book has a textile um, signature in the middle and it holds me pages. Look at these toadstools, just gorgeous. And bookmarks, and um, they have got all the same amount of pages, just different book pages, obviously, and hand dyed papers. One um, Tim Holtz signature cover. This one is with these birds. This is hand dyed page with pocket printed Queen Anne's lace and the vintage book page tag. Here we have another um, glass in pocket with egg tag, little mushroom there. Mushroom stamps through the books. Another double pocket page. An eco printed pocket. But Music page. Oh, another uh, eco print pocket. This one is really beautiful on this hand dyed uh, emerald um, tracing paper. Stenciling and the vintage pairs. Jap another Japanese print and uh, natural history paper with beetles. Get it home. cherries, uh, plums, here is some metal staining on this page and a mushroom, big egg, goose, Pocket. and another of these vintage fabric pockets, so nice and the back and my stamp so that's the three journals i have this week there will not be any more this week this is the last three tattered moths covers that i had and i don't think i will be doing any more and at least i'm not sure in in the future i have some other plans for books these are on my Etsy now and if they are sold they will be posted this week everything will be posted this week because on Thursday is the last posting day and on uh, Friday I will not be here till next Friday so the shop will stay open but I cannot post anything next week uh, everything that is purchased will be posted this week and if anything is purchased next week it will have to wait till Saturday not this Saturday coming but the next Saturday the um, 12th maybe 12th of September yes 
so thank you very much for watching and um, and enjoy the beginning of your autumn and see you soon bye